Uh, I am writing a Medium article when I talk about uh, the use of S3 Select uh, when you need to access your data in a fast way. Uh, by fast, I say related to prepare the infrastructure to find this data in your S3, in your S3 bucket. Because uh, I know uh, using this way, using AWS S3 Select to access your data have some trade-offs because your data is not mapped, uh, it's not like scalable, uh, so we have some better solutions to do that. But if you need to find your data uh, in a fast way, you can choose AWS S3 Select to do that. Uh, in my article that I am writing, I put some trade-offs uh, for using uh, a way to access your data like this. Uh, but let's focus in this video just on code. Uh, some other details you can see in my article that I am writing to post on Medium. Okay, so let's go. Uh, I have built an inked project, basically, uh, here in my IntelliJ. It's a empty Java Gradle project, so uh, let's start from the beginning. I will uh, build this, this project using Spring Boot, so let me find the dependency here. So I will put here in my dependencies. Let me just separate the dependencies. So this is the my Spring Boot starter. Let me put here uh, the Spring Boot dev tools to we do some debugs and, and test here. Uh, and let's put uh, to my Spring Boot starter web. So in this way, we can build our controllers and we can can put a API to access this data. All right. I will put here to the dependencies related to AWS S3. So I will put here to the dependencies and I will put to my dependency related. I will take out these dependencies related to G Jupyter, JUnity and put just Spring Boot starter tests because uh, this starter already have these dependencies. All right, uh, so let me just refresh here. Uh, we have some errors here. Let me see uh, which errors development only dev tools. Mm, let's go with error. These lines, uh, uh, so it's live, <laughs> as you can see. I need to put here. Mm. Ah, okay. Uh, let me put here in plugins, Java. Uh, okay, my Spring Boot. Okay. And let's put to my Spring Boot dependency management. Okay, so it should work now. Okay, it's the loading. Let's see if the dependencies, the dependencies are here. Okay, uh, while. Uh, we are downloading the dependencies. Let's create some packages here. So uh, first I will create the package related to, sorry. Uh, so the name of the application, S3 select. Let me just put S3 select. So let's create our first packages here. So I will create a package related to domain. 
I will create another package just related to uh, my entry points here. I will just put an endpoint for the rest. I will put create another package related to uh, my infrastructure. I will create another package related to my use case. Uh, and I don't think you have more. If I remember one uh, new package, I will just put here down. All right. Uh, so in my so uh, let's start from my domain. So I will create a Java class, a interface. So it's my bucket. Bucket as a tree gateway. So using this gateway, I can open the doors to implement another race to another race to access uh, my S3 bucket. If I uh, don't want to access using uh, the API provided by Amazon, I want to use it in another way. I can uh, like. Uh, implement it as a concrete class in this abstraction. Okay, so that's the, the idea. So the contract of this interface will be uh, very simple. So I want to return item from bucket. Okay, I want to return item from bucket. Uh, will be a string and uh, I will give a field that is the field of my JSON uh, that I will search and I will give another uh, field here that is the value. So in, in, in my JSON it's like a key value so I can search by a field and I can search by the value of the, this field and the idea here is that the application return only the values that only the the objects that have this field and this value in this field okay so that's it uh, if you are hearing some uh, sounds it's my son uh, he have four years old uh, okay sorry about that so let's create uh, here in the infrastructure a package here related to the configuration of this infrastructure, All right? So let's create my S3 client config. So it's my S3 client configuration. Let's uh, and it's very simple as the others. So it's a bin and let me create a configuration here. And let me create a bin here. Uh, it's a public to be uh, to be to enable uh, the application to use that bin. So this bin will be uh, init AWS connection. So okay, and we can do like that. We can just return. Uh, using my Amazon S3 client builder will be a standard connection. Uh, my credentials, sorry, my credentials will be default. So let's create an object new default AWS credentials provider chain. Yeah, it's that. Uh, my region will be the region here in Sao Paulo. So uh, this, this library provides uh, a num that have all the regions that are is disponible for use and let's build. Okay, that's it. Uh, let me see, application counters, fortify. Okay, no problem. Okay. Mm. So, okay, so that's it. So uh, here we instantiate, we instantiate our client. Okay, 
So let's create uh, now uh, the data provider. So the data provider is how we will access this S3 bucket. Okay, so let's create uh, the data provider here in the infra uh, structure. So we have the config uh, will be outside config. So data provider here. And in the data provider, we can just create like S3 data provider here. Yeah. So let's create our S3 data provider. So will be a bin two, will be a configuration here. Uh, this data provider, as, as I said before, will be, it will implement the abstraction. So will be the abstraction that we have built uh, before. And in this abstraction, we have this method. So we will override uh, this method here. Uh, but before we, we implement uh, this method, let's uh, in the constructor of this concrete class, let's just uh, receive the client, the, the client, the initialized client that uh, as a bin will be initialized in the startup of the, the application. So will be a private final Amazon S3 I will call just S3 client here. Okay, uh, uh, IntelliJ are complaining before we need to initialize and we will initialize in the public constructor, right? So we will be <coughs> uh, S3 data provider, Amazon S3, S3 client, we'll call just S3 client. Uh, so this S3 client receive this S3 client. Uh, I think they are complaining because here is not. Uh, uh, let's just create this application context. Mm -hmm. Let me see what is that configure application context. Ah, oh, oh I, I always forgot that. So let's create here in this level a class called SC3 select example application. All right, so let's just put uh, the annotations here of the spring. Uh, let's uh, put here the annotation. So it's a Spring Boot application. Uh, and let's put the main method here. So it's a main method here. And this main method here just run a Spring Boot uh, application here. Main args. Uh, let me just check this out. Mm, let me see if I am forgetting something. Uh, spring application. Yeah. Spring application run S3 select example application dot class and here go the args, right? Let me check this out. Mm, is in a default package. Okay, run setup options. Maybe it's in a wrong package. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, needs to be in this package. Let's just refactor. Okay. So I think we are done here. Yeah, uh, our problems are all solved. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, where we are. So we are here. Let me just check it here. OK, 
okay let me just close these guys oh so i think everything's fine now so let's return uh, to the code i will put this return no to dj don't complain about what we are, we are doing so okay so let's start so we have we already have our s3 client here and we can use the s3 client so let's use the s3 client so we have the s3 client here uh, we don't want to create a bucket we want to list objects in a specific bucket so we have these methods here and we have this list objects here and we need to give our bucket name and the bucket name it's not a Nobel uh, dash prize and it's like that Nobel Nobel prize okay uh, okay that's listing okay no problem uh, to uncle Bob stay okay with us let's just create a constant here so the name of the constant will be a bucket name uh, let me see okay we can create it here and the name will be noble price right 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 very nice okay uh, so let's start to uh, do the things here so first of all we need to uh, get the information about the objects in that list so for it you we will create a for each so let's create here let's create a for each uh, I, I don't like when IntelliJ do that to me uh, uh, so it's object listing dot get object summary so we will like list all the information about the objects here uh, okay 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 uh, and the type it's s3 object summary and um, let's just call summary let's import here here we go all right uh, so okay let's uh, see here wait. so let's just create a new a new object of the type s3 select object content request to we do it to select the object content request so let's do it new s3 a new uh, select object content uh, request we want this let's just introduce a local variable let's call request to be more short uh, and let's create that request that we will do in the s3 bucket uh, the name it's this sorry bucket name mm, uh, we need to set the key the key will be uh, summary uh, dot key so that is the key and let's see where we go yep uh, i think it's relevant i think they have updated here okay no no problem I think it should work because we let me just check one thing out yeah we already have the bucket name here yeah so we will not have problem but just yeah they already have the bucket uh, name sorry we need to set the bucket name and the bucket name it's that okay but after that i will try if i can get the bucket name because i am already saying the name of the bucket okay for another time we see that and here 
is a very import, important part. So we need to set the expression. The expression will be a DSL SQL, so you can use it uh, like SQL code here. You cannot use uh, all the things uh, that you have in SQL, like joins, I think. I, I will uh, I will put it in my post, but as I remember, you cannot join here uh, and do some other things. So it's very basic. Uh, just select, uh, limit some data, and to do where's and things like that. So let's set the expression, select everything from S3 object. And when you want to, uh, like, let me just fix it here. So when you want to access uh, data that are inside arrays in your JSON, you need to put it here. So S3 object, it's the name of the bucket. It's like, like the bucket name, the bucket itself, my, uh, my Nobel Prize bucket itself. And inside this bucket, we have like a large JSON with a lot of uh, nodes and have a lot of arrays inside. So have array about that say something about the laureates, arrays that uh, gives the information about the years that uh, the prize has the prizes has been given. So let's access here the prizes and inside the prizes we have to the laureates and uh, let me just fix this out so we have the laureates and inside the laureates we have uh, the information about the laureates and we will access this information i will create its alias and uh, we will take this field and value to build uh, this request that we will do in S3, okay? Uh, let me do it, uh, field, and let's try to take this uh, field, let me... Let's take the value and the value and that's it. I think we are fine here. Yeah, we are fine. So we just need just to set the expression that we will do here. Expression type. So we have the expression types here. We have we, need, we, we can check the types of expression that we have here. So we can just use the SQL here. I think there are plenty to give to us another types of expressions to access data, but we have SQL for now. Uh, and we can now uh, build how we will present this data that we are accessing, okay?